Hi, welcome to the next vlog. It's uh, 25 weeks. Okay, <laughs> um, so I'm going to start with the vlog. I put the timer on just, you know, for 10 minutes, then I'll know. If I'm to keep doing it again and again, I'll know, okay, i got to do a second part. Um, so I'm going to just start with the vlog with updates. It's been two weeks since I updated the last. Since we are 25 weeks now, and I last stayed in the 23 weeks. And, uh, it's going good. Um, I just have to keep remembering. I'm sorry about all the noise. The dishwasher's on, and my kids are, are uh, doing some science stuff. Actually, this one's back. Rebecca, can you just stop the dishwasher just for now, and I'll turn it on later. Thanks a lot. I want to click off. No, just open it. Yeah. Okay. You can keep it closed, though. You don't have to. Okay. Anyway, all right. <laughs> Wasting time. Okay, so 25 weeks. I'm feeling good. As long as I keep with the uh, things that I'm taking, the supplements. Although, the supplements, I mean, someone's like, oh, I didn't take all this stuff, just take a multivitamin. I take a multivitamin, which I did show, and magnesium, and that's the only supplement that I take, is the, the uh, prenatal multivitamin, which is, someone asked, but no, okay, yes, it is. It's the only one I've noticed a difference in, with. All the other ones that I've taken, I couldn't notice a significant difference from taking it, except after a while, my wrists would really ache. My joints would all ache, and it would get better when I stopped. So I think I just wasn't absorbing it, and it was being deposited into my joints, which is not good. So with this one, I noticed a, a difference. I feel good, and that doesn't happen. So yeah, I take that, and I take my pain. And... Um, the other stuff I showed, it's not, it's not like a vitamin supplement stuff. It's their food, their food, and I'll explain that later. If there's time, or I'll do another part. Um, yeah, so I feel good as long as I take it. I don't have a scale here, so I won't take my weight. But when I weighed myself yesterday, I was 130. Well. It depends. It varied from 132 to 133.9. So, um, but I was just saying 132. It was 132 for most of the day. The baby seemed to have a schedule that I I can recognize already. Um, right now it's in the morning, and uh, they are sleeping sometime during the night. They sleep, and they sleep most pretty much all morning until in the afternoon around 1 or 2 or 3, around that time. Then they're awake and they're moving. When they're sleeping, there's no movement. Um, and I can feel it there towards my back. And my tummy looks a lot smaller than in the afternoon when they're awake. And when they wake up, you know, it's all that kicking and stretching and rolling and all that crazy stuff that they do. Um, and. Uh, yeah, and I get look a lot bigger, and my belly feels like it's on fire because it's just stretching, and um, and that lasts until late in the night, usually around one or two in the morning, if I'm still awake. <laughs> um, I I notice that that continues the activity continues until that time, and then they sleep, and it just goes on again. So they're on a schedule, and they seem to be a match schedule. So I'm really hoping that when they're born, I can. That they'll nap at the same time and eat at the same time, or <laughs> that I can train them to do that. Um, yeah. Oh yeah. And we got baby bedding for the crib. The crib that we what we what we did is we took off the side, and uh, it's right up against my bed like a co sleeper. Um, I hope you can see this. I'm just going to show you the baby quilt so you can see the design. Later on when I have the nursery section of our, our bedroom ready, I will do a vlog on that. But for now, I'm just going to show you this. So can please go down. I hope you can see the design. There's, you know, hearts and um, butterflies and flowers. In the back. It's got lots of flowers. It is so nice. And it matches our theme, the pink and purple, and the garden theme for their section, the nursery section. So, we really have about that. We are doing the uh, 
One is a pink. We call the pink baby and the, the purple baby for now. I'm having such a hard time to find purple newborn clothes. Most of the purple go girl clothes, not as much, but when they have it, it's almost always six months and above. I can't, I'm really having a hard time finding things that are less. I found a few, but not much. Um, so far, I just have two. There's the, the bodysuit. Yeah. In purple, and uh, I found a little cute little newborn sweater. It's so adorable. And I should show that to you. I didn't write it down. Um, and, and I found a found a little hat. I can't remember if there's anything else. The other thing was three months. I, I'm really having a hard time to find newborn purple stuff. I don't know if what other people do with twins, but I do want to keep them apart. So we're, that's what we're doing. So yeah, oh, we're so excited now. So overwhelmed at first, but now I'm feeling really, really, really excited. And uh, it's coming up. The babies could be born as soon as three months, or by the end of June, and be term. Uh, I'm kind of hoping that they'll be closer to their due date. I don't think they're going to go past the due date. I'd be surprised if they're not here. Uh, by a week before their due date. I, I totally expect that they'll be here by then. Um, it's been hard trying to keep myself from not overdoing it. Um, I'm trying to do less, but I'm finding that even with the breaks, like that's, it's, it's getting to be like that's not enough. I, I just can't do much. And that's really hard because I'm usually pushing myself all the time. That's what I do. I push myself and I get so much done. And, um, but I can't do that. I can't be on my feet or cleaning and, and doing a whole lot of that stuff. So my husband's so sweet. He's like, we'll just concentrate on taking care of the kids. And the food, he's not a cook. <laughs> much. Don't forget, tries. He tries. But, uh, yeah, so I'm just that's what I'm doing and that, that's enough. I get exhausted with that. But it's, I, yeah, yesterday I, I didn't do a whole lot of cleaning, but what I did, um, I thought crawling around the floor was fine, but it caused a severe sharp pain throughout my belly all night. So, yeah, I got to be very careful about not overdoing it with twins. It's, it's very different. Because we don't want them to come early. And, yeah, I guess that's all for those updates. I don't know what to say. I feel great. I did that. I just have to make sure I don't overdo it. And I, I'm great. It's, it's wonderful. I guess I'll answer a few questions. And then I'll show my belly. Or maybe I'll show my belly first. And then answer some questions. Just in case the thing rings and I find, oh no, i got to stop the video. Okay, so I'll try to show my belly. Um, as I said about the weight, I, I don't have to scale down here, but it was about 132, 133, which is a huge weight gain for me. That's been 18 pounds, 18 to 20 pounds already since pre-pregnancy, and I did lose a lot of weight that first trimester when I was so sick and couldn't keep food down much. <laughs> so that's, um, you know, that's a lot for me by this point. And I normally, at this point, start to gain. Normally by this point, I haven't gain nearly this much, you know, about 10 pounds, and then I totally gain after, and then total about 30 pounds or so, so uh, let's see how that goes, so I'll show my belly, I heard the thing go beep, so there's like one minute left, so show my belly, so you can see this, alright, so this is the belly, they're sleeping, let's close on just wearing maternity pants. I don't like maternity pants. At least not the ones. I'd rather it have the thing all the way up to here and it's just up to there and it keeps falling. I don't like that. But anyway, this, there you go. Very veiny, I find. I see all the veins, especially when they're awake. So it's a lot bigger than what I'm used to at this point, for sure. There. So I'll answer questions in, uh, in another part. So, thanks. I'll see you in the next part.